Welcome back to the Chicago Sports Museum and Harry Carey's seventh inning stretch are now open at Water Tower Place. The museum combines high tech interactive experiences with an impressive collection of game used treasures. Come challenge your friends or just yourself. So Hamill has a lead for the first time and deals a strike on Marcel Ozuna. The pitch. One and one. Jason with only one three up three down inning so far that came in the second when he got uh, seven eight nine in order. It's kind of like the tortoise in the hair. You know he's been battling battling base runners. And uh, Kohler just sailing along, but boom. One big inning. And the situation has flipped. Which was up and fouled back in uh, between innings. The new cast of H.R. Uh, Puff and stuff. It looks like on Hell's race to win. Will he with, uh, win? Get the photos out. The sea race. And yeah, uh, I, don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I heard he, he referred to somebody as on hell. On hell, the stone it, crab. It, oh, okay. Yeah. I maybe there's an angel fish. Yeah. Yeah. Marlin, he's he's been the longtime mascot yeah. here. He's right out of Yellow Submarine. That, that race. Kind of like the, uh, the bar scene in Star Wars. <laughs> I think they should have the Golden Girls race around the ballpark. <laughs> that would be fun, right? Yeah, race about yeah. 20 feet. It's a big B. Arthur head and Rue McClanahan and all that. Just right. Yeah. Grim and Wright wearing like big kimonos or house coats, whatever the heck they call them. There you go. The three two is fouled away. Just happened. Yeah, yeah. Another 3 2, and this one lined into the gap. Ruggiano's going to have to go all the way to the barrier. Ozuna now to second. He's going to keep on going to third. Valbuena's relay throw is late. Good back up by Hamill, which is what he's supposed to do. To keep Ozuna at third. That's a leadoff triple. And uh, Alt, hopefully, he's all right as he took a tumble. If this were the seventh and not the sixth, I'm pretty sure Ricky Renteria would have made the move, not let Hamill hit in that previous inning. But trying to get one more inning out of him here now that he's got a lead. But it's going to be a tough lead to, to hold now. Lead off triple by Ozuna. We talked about it earlier. The ball really shoots through the outfield here. And it, it really pays off to, to be willing to hit the ball the other way, use the whole field. Again, not a great home run ballpark, but the Marlins hitting 275 in their own yard. That's the second best in the National League, trailing only the Rockies. And everybody knows about the advantage they have out there. So infield in now as they try to cut this run off. Trying to keep the lead, which they just attained. Echevarria, the batter. Here's the pitch. In the air. Very well hit, deep left center, and this ball is caught by Sweeney. What a grab. It's going to be, I think it's caught. No. That's a to third, I think, wondering what happened. It gets pretty bright out there, but yeah, I thought Sweeney I caught it. it. He did catch it. That's yeah. thought it was a triple. It's a sack fly to tie it. It's 4 4. That ball was a towering fly. And Echeverria was past second when it was caught. What a catch. Oh, my, yeah. Little Willie Mays for you. Over the shoulder. I'll tell you, uh, Ryan made a huge catch. Kind of got lost in the shuffle yesterday in Philadelphia to end the eighth inning. 
With a runner on base, that, that helped bail Travis Wood out of that inning. Mathis with the bases empty. We'll ground out to Castro. Two outs. I thought he caught it, but after a while, when the runner doesn't leave the base, you kind of start to wonder. You know, it's a, and Echevarria <laughs> was watching the ball as he neared second base. I don't know how he didn't see it. Maybe, maybe just the fact that Ryan caught it over his shoulder was a little deceiving. Get a pinch hitter here for Kohler. It is Justin Bohr, just brought back from AAA New Orleans. I think his theory is just sell it. Just stay there, hang out until they, uh, maybe nobody will notice. Yeah, I think he just feels like, well, I hit that ball so hard. I hit it so well. They got to give me something here. If you get four bases for hitting it over the wall, shouldn't you get three for coming really close? These are conversations we probably should have had back in 1870. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't early on uh, balls that bounced over a barrier weren't those home runs? I mean, I'm yes. way back yep, machine. Yep, yep. You are absolutely right. Four swings and misses. I think he thought he got a piece of it, but he did not. And that is a strikeout. Big play by Sweeney. This ended up being a game-tying sack fly, but it could have been a triple. It's 4-4. I'll get it. What are your lunch plans? Try CC's Lunch Buffet for only 5 bucks all through June. No other deal beats endless pizza, salad, pasta, and dessert for 5 bucks. CC's Endless Pizza, Endless Value. Remodeling your home? Demand LP Smart Side Trim and Siding. It's not only beautiful, but also incredibly tough. Compare it to other siding at lpsmartside.com. Hybrids, go! Original Prius, Prius C, Prius V, Prius Plug-in, Camry Hybrid, Avalon Hybrid, Highlander Hybrid. Good job. <sighs> MPGs, go. Go to... With an EPA estimated 50 MPG, it's no wonder 95% of all Toyota Prius models sold over the last 10 years are still on the road today. Get 0% APR financing on a new 2014 Prius plus $500 bonus cash or lease Prius for just $199 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Real sports fans want to watch the game live, and nobody has more live sports than Xfinity. This is our sports app. It'll show you every game that's playing live and every game that's scheduled to play. It's got everything I need. Live scores updated right now. See these live games highlighted in white? Click on any of them and watch live. Fourth quarter, it's all tied up. I want to see this triple overtime game. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. This is the ultimate experience right here. Enjoy the most live sports like never before with an Xfinity X1 triple play. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY. Every night. Get ready for the most dynamic show in Chicago. Epic highlights. Hey, the top. Oh! The hardest hitting interview. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. Go right I'm, ahead. I'm going to ask you some Go tough right questions. Ahead. Do you want that? I dare you. Your city, your teams, your show. This is Sportsnet Central. Tonight, after Post Game Live, presented by GMC, only on Comcast Sportsnet. On Saturday, June 28th, the Cubs take on the Washington Nationals. It's a scheduled day-night doubleheader. The first 4,000 children, 13 and younger, attending the first game at 12.05 will receive limited edition American Girl doll-sized Cubs apparel. For more information or to purchase tickets, visit Cubs.com. So you get that gear and you dress up your American Girl. First man out of the shoot for the Marlins tonight. Right-hander Chris Hatcher, 10 games with the big club this year. No wins, no losses, a 3-1-8. Hard thrower, good strikeout numbers. That one goes on the board at 94 miles an hour. Throw a slider and a changeup as well. He has struck out 
A little over 36% of the batters he has faced, and he hasn't sacrificed command to do it. He's only walked 4%. So that 32% spread between his strikeout and walk rate is very impressive. One and two on Lake. The uh, Marlins just brought up Sam Dyson. And while uh, at AAA New Orleans, Earlier this season, Dyson and Hatcher got into a fight uh, reportedly at a bar in Nashville. And uh, Dyson ended up with a broken jaw. Fight with each other? Yeah, Dyson said everything's fine between them now. Hatcher ended up getting suspended for five games by the Marlins uh, as a result of that altercation. Wow. Shades of the swing and A's of the 70s. I always say that chemistry is overrated, but that's taking it to an extreme. Probably had to do with the, the uh, song selection on the jukebox, don't you think? Probably, yeah. Mike Dunn in the Miami bullpen. One strike on all. 4-4 four, four here in the seventh. Every time we see Hatcher, we mentioned he uh, made his debut as a catcher against the Cubs in 2010. Converted full time to a pitcher in 2011. Made his major league debut at Wrigley Field as a pitcher. He is very crisp here tonight. Fastball at 94, and then the sliders had great action. Guessing, and again, it's reportedly, allegedly, he was pretty crisp in Nashville, too. Yeah. Crisp right cross. Wow. Back to back K's. We'll start the seventh. Now, Baker. Is it one ball hard for an out? Is it one ball softly for a hit? If Baker from the left side can have any more luck than the right-handed batters did. Two-seamer was run at 95. Send out get well wishes to good friend Tom Schutz. You know, recovering in a hospital from a, uh, a bad accident. And uh, Tom, we hope you're, you're feeling better. But Dyson ended up being out for six weeks after that incident. Inside one and two. It's funny because oh, once or twice a year you hear a story about a clubhouse dust up a fighter of some sort, and and uh, generally it's passed off as hey, it's, it happens all the time. It's just you know we're a band of brothers here. Brothers fight all the time. It really doesn't happen all the time. It's pretty rare that there's fisticuffs in the clubhouse or in this instance a bar fight between teammates. Well, they're both 6-1. The Hatcher listed at 203, Dyson 205. <laughs> How about their fist size? Have length? No, I you just got the stats. You, know, you, you got the tail of the tape. Hatcher's a big dude. I just wanted to see if it was a fair if, fight. If it was fair, to, according to their size, it, it is. It was. Two to three, two. The call part of the veteran mix they brought in here to help change the culture of this Marlin club. And some talented young guys, and the veteran guys are, are playing well for them. We'll see. For call hasn't been here much. He's been injured 
for a good chunk of the season. Just got back recently. Baker's two for three. And keeps the inning alive for another former Marlin, Chris Coughlin. The Hamill six innings, four runs. A walk, nine strikeouts. He gave up eight hits, including the Stanton home run. Tonight was just a keep your team in the game kind of night. Trailed early. Get up with a brief lead before giving up that run in the sixth. Left-handed hitter coming up. Probably left-handed pitcher coming on when we return. Ode to the fresh toasted chicken and bacon ranch melt. Just north of ridiculously delicious, you'll find this baby bordering on sublime. This taste explosion begins with chicken so tender, it begs to be hugged by freshly baked bread. Then it's piled sky high with bacon, Monterey cheddar, and a ranch sauce that makes sharing lunch a case for sainthood. The Subway Chicken and Bacon Ranch Melt. That's mmm with 27 M's. Subway, eat fresh. Jack Link's Jerky presents Hangry Moments. So that's the vendor request form. We got a few changes from last year. It's the second time this week, Dan. I'm doing the best I can, Pete. Jack Link's Jerky, the protein pack way to feed your wild side. Here's left-hander Mike Dunn to face Chris Coglin. Yeah, hard-throwing left-hander, five and four with an ERA of uh, four. That's a lot of decisions for a reliever. Doesn't mean much. It's just I find it interesting. 27 innings, 24 hits. He's walked 12, struck out 30. And you see those reverse platoon splits for him. Lefties have actually been better than right-handed hitters against him. Fastball that sits right around 94, a slider that he uses frequently. And once in a blue moon, he'll flip a curveball up there. Baker, the runner at first with two outs, and Coglin sees strike one. Lefty's hitting 256, right handed batter's just 220. Baker's not a base dealer. That's always the added advantage of bringing a lefty in a situation like this, too. Tougher to steal a bag. That's not part of Baker's game. Still has to make sure he gets a good enough secondary lead, give himself a chance to score on an extra base hit here by Coglin. One thing he does uh, or has in his career is really limit the slugging of, le of left handers. Slug just 339 lifetime against Mike Dunn. Coglin could not hold up. And he thinks he did. And Scott Berry made the call, and that's it. No way to challenge it or anything. So seventh inning stretch time. It's a 4-4 tie, but they got it right.
touchdown every morning, ten times, not just now and then. Once more on the rise, nuts to the flabby guys. Go, you chicken fat, go away. Go, you chicken fat, go. Run, me to run like a tortoise. Okay. Go to food and to soul. Now don't look ready. Love taking for light to clear. Run to food, run to clear. Go to food, run to food for everybody. Sing. Go, you chicken fat. Shield of Illinois knows your 20s is your time. So go ahead and act your age. We're the smart choice for health insurance, and we're ready when you are. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois, through it all. As promised earlier, we have our AT&T fan photo. Tweet it to hashtag NorthsideFanPhoto for a chance to have it appear in an upcoming broadcast. It's brought to you by AT&T. Uh, kind of a Ryan Terrio lookalike. As Justin Grimm will take over. 32 times he's trotted out there. A couple wins, a couple losses, an ERA right at three. 31 punch outs in 30 innings, low batting average against. Fastball, a curveball slider for uh, Grimm. He has a changeup, but kind of put that in his back pocket for now as he's exclusively working out of the bullpen. Nick just up from Triple A is one for three with a steal and a run. Grim has had four days off, did not pitch in Philly, pitched once in Pittsburgh. One clean inning with a strikeout. Pitched twice against the Marlins on the homestand. That's a dot right on the edge at 94. Baker and Stanton to follow. Base hit to left. Wisnick took a breaking ball for a base hit. The second hit of the night, he was really swinging it well down at Triple A after a rough start. He'd gotten hot. He had a very nice year last year at Double A. He was called up from Double A to the big leagues. Played about 40 ball games last year. They really like his upside. Tall, rangy kid, very good outfielder, and they think he'll develop more power as he goes along. Grimm would love to dial up a double play ball here with the dangerous Stanton on deck and then McGee after him. Best way to neutralize uh, the best hitters in a lineup is to face them with nobody on and usually two outs is a good idea yeah, too. Yeah, works, yeah. <laughs> Rusnik faked towards second, then put on the brakes. Yeah, it's funny because everybody talks about protecting the big guy in the line to have the dangerous bats behind him. But for me, it's more about what's going on in front of that big bat that forces you in certain situations. I got to pitch to him. I got nowhere to put him. I can't afford to put him on. Um, yeah, you always want to have options. Yeah. Cubs pitch out, wondering if Rusnik might. 
actually run that time. He did not. And it's one and one. To provide protection for the best hitters in the game, you would have, a, have to have another one of the best hitters in the yes. game hitting behind yeah, him. You need Babe Ruth to back up Barry yeah. Bonds. Because the point of it is that whoever hits behind Bonds, if you don't want to face Bonds, you're not going to face Bonds. Right. You're going to walk him. Yeah, there's no. Unless and, there's Barry Bonds behind Barry right. Bonds. And then, and then you might challenge him. But the bottom line is that the most dangerous hitters, you're always going to pitch those guys carefully. The notion that because there's a good hitter behind, you know, whether it's John Carlos Stan or Miguel Cabrera, that, you know, there's a good hitter behind him, therefore. Well, I'm going to throw it over to Cabrera. You're going to be willing to get a big chunk of the plate. That, that philosophy just doesn't fly. That's why this at bat here is really important for Grimm. Outside two and one. Baker knows it. For me, the one exception would be that you know the intentional walk you know if there's a, if, there, if there's a competent enough hitter behind the quote unquote big guy where a manager second guesses intentionally walk him and walking him in a given situation you're still not going to give in to the guy speaking of giving in it's three and one on Jeff Baker it is certainly on the surface looks like a fastball count here We'll see what Grimm and Baker have up their sleeves. It is a fastball and it's fouled back. on the runner. Marlins came into this game having stolen only 20 bases all year. They've stolen two tonight. Pretty aggressive in the series at Wrigley too. Marisnik does have speed. Pretty good lead over there. There he goes. And there's ball four. Not the worst result. That would have been a two-run homer, but that's not what Justin Grimm wanted. No, and uh, let's see the, uh, the pace with which Ricky's chewing that gum just quickened a little bit with John Carlos Stanton striding to home plate with two men on base. So there's not a, an open base in the traditional sense, but there is an unoccupied base out there and I think that's what's driving this conversation. How aggressive are they going to be with Stanton. Schlitter and Wright. Wesley's been up a couple of times. Run came in the first inning on a hanging slider that he lined to right field. He singled up the middle in the third. It was a fastball that got in on him, broke his bat. He still managed to get a base hit. Here's the home run. This was something. That ended up being a home run. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. Very few guys in the history of this game could hit a line drive that low and have it carry that far. So he bats with two on and nobody out in a tie game. And he takes one right down the middle. Strike one. That's 
the pitch he had a hard time laying off of in Chicago. Stanton. No one and two. Two options chase breaking ball off the plate and down or hard in if you're comfortable that you can get it in there and it looks like the game plan is to stay away. Way away. So you have to believe if they could make a pitch in, they would shatter his bat again. Riznik at second, Baker at first, three and two on Stanton. They're going outside again. And he hits a ground ball to the hole. It's short. Castro will throw to the second. They get one there. So they're at first and third. Well, that was a very nice pitch there by Grimm. It's interesting because they, they were staying away with the willingness to pitch around him. Doesn't really explain this one right here. <laughs> this gets things started. He just channels a fastball. And then the expansion begins. Breaking ball away. A little bit of a hanger, but out far enough where he couldn't really get to it. Good heater at 95 just off the edge and then just that that pitch close enough to get him to bite gets a ground ball and gets a very big out. So the RBI machine Casey McGee a single in the third knocked in his 44th run of the year. Go ahead run is 90 feet away. Stanton the runner at first. Here we go. Ball one. McGee tied the Pirates with a two run double in the eighth yesterday and then won it with a sack fly in the bottom of the uh, tenth inning. To give the Marlins a much needed victory and they avoided the sweep. They led the Cubs 3 0 tonight. But then the Cubs with a four run sixth. And that time he went. Might have been in the zone anyway. Ball 95, but out of the zone. Two and one. Stan stole a base back in the third. He's five for five in the stolen base department now. Don't you kind of pine for the old fake to third, go to first move? I was thinking about it on that pickoff attempt. And then everybody in the crowd could boo, call balk. Now they really could. I'm still waiting for the pitcher that does it, that has a brain cramp and forgets it's no longer legal. Not 
tenth inning on Sunday against the Pirates. Jared Hughes and McGee trying to lift the ball. He was able to do that. And they were able to walk off. And he avoided the eight ounce bottle of water shower. <laughs> And you see in those check swings how he's leaving, keeping his hands out front because he's trying to, he's telling himself, stay inside the ball. You're much more likely to get the ball airborne with that approach. The one thing he wants to guard against is the rollover ground ball. Uh, he may change his thinking here, 3-1. He might get a little greedy and try to get the head out in front of a fastball, but the way he has approached it this year, I doubt it. I think he's still thinking middle of the diamond, middle of the way, trying to get the ball airborne. And they're loaded, not the end of the world here, but it may end up taking uh, Grimm out of the ball game. We'll see with uh, Garrett Jones coming up. Two walks in the inning and a single. And Grimm up against the ropes here. Jones hitting 191 against left-handed pitching this year. Good timing. If he just called for, for the southpaw, it'll be Wesley Wright. And the base is loaded, one out situation. When we come back to Miami, it's a 4-4 tie. for design, a passion for performance, a need for power. The result is undeniable. The Infiniti Q50. Follow that instinct. Lease the Infiniti Q50 with all-wheel drive for $369 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. I can't believe how much money we saved on our floors at Luna. I shopped around, so I know we got the best deal. Right now at Luna, get an incredible 70% off. 773202 Luna. Hey, this Wendy's salad really tastes like summertime. Told you. Summer in a bowl. What? Sweet strawberries, chicken on the grill. Did you do something different in here? Mm. New salads. Nothing captures the feeling of summer like Wendy's new strawberry field salad. Fresh strawberries, bacon, and grilled chicken on a bed of fresh greens. Now that's better. And now kids' meals just $1.99 after four. Chrysler Town & Country is the ultimate minivan. Get 0% financing for 72 months and 2,000 bonus cash for up to 7,800 in total savings on Town & Country Limited. Justin Grimm gave up a, a single, uh, two walks, did get an out. It leaves a bases loaded situation for veteran lefty Wesley Wright. Yeah, your mission should you choose to accept it, Mr. Wright, and get out of this bases loaded jam and keep the game tied. 0-1, 266 for Wright. Two and four seam fastball, slider curve and a change. Jones 0 for 7 with two strikeouts against Wright. Marisnik at third, Stanton at second, McGee at first. Wright trying to keep the game tied. Swinging strike on a slider. 
Yeah, just before the pitch, Mike Olt moved in a couple of steps at third base. You don't want to lay too far back there. It's highly unlikely that he would push a bunt, but less so now that there's one strike. But with his struggles against left-handed pitching, you never know. Right throws, blown away. Middle of the order hitter gets paid to drive in runs. It would be highly unconventional, but we saw him try it earlier against the shift. And one thing he knows that kills this team is if he grounds into a double play here. Set it to belt. Now to the plate. And on the ground, Rizzo will throw home for one. No relay throw. There's three to two on the fielder's choice. They're still loaded with two outs. And we've got a right-handed hitting Marcelo Zuna due up. He did his job. Got to piece it together. Win the seventh. Win the ball game. Not all the time, but a high percentage of the time. So back to a right-hander. Ryan Schlitter when we return. At GMC, one incredible idea leads to another. Like the versatile GMC Acadia, the first eight-passenger crossover with an EPA-estimated 24 highway MPG, advanced seating with an easy access third row, and pro-grade protection, including two years of scheduled maintenance. Lease this GMC Acadia for around $299 per month. Every holiday, every milestone, and every celebration. For more than 60 years, Binnie's Beverage Depot has been there, helping you celebrate the best times of your life. Hey man, how do I eat this extra long barbecue cheeseburger? Dude, it's a burger, you just eat it. Oh, I, mm, I see. Do you start from the short side or the long side? I'll go long. All right, I'll go short. There's no wrong way to eat the new extra long barbecue cheeseburger, and now you can get any two sandwiches for just $5, only at Burger King. My husband, Trey Ponder, was killed June 28, 2005, in Afghanistan. My husband's death was the hardest thing I've ever faced. The Special Operations Warrior Foundation stepped in to help. Now you can help, too. Purchase new Cherry 5-Hour Energy now through July 31st, and a portion of each sale benefits Special Operations Warrior Foundation to help families of fallen heroes. I will always miss my dad, but thanks to Special Operations Warrior Foundation, I will never feel alone. Cubs are at home or on the road. Guided tours of legendary Wrigley Field are available. Tours may include visits to the press box, clubhouses, dugouts, as well as a chance to actually step on the field to visit Cubs.com slash tours. Remember, available every day, game day, or uh, the Cubs are off in Miami or somewhere. Here's right-hander Brian Schlitter. He's been a busy man. 29 appearances already. Yeah, Sinker Baller gets a lot of ground balls. He's a great guy to bring in a situation like this if you need two. Right now, they don't. Just need one. It's been tough to hit from both sides of the plate. Well, Zuna, remember, he tripled to start the sixth off Hamill and would score on the Echeverria sack fly. Bases loaded, two outs. Inside, ball one. Well, Zuna hits out of that open stance and then drifts towards home plate as he closes up. Very vulnerable to getting hit by an inside fastball. Rate is below league average. And 
And it's one and two. That will be the best pitch he sees in this sequence. Many at bats in this spot, but he's come up big. One and two. Here it is. Called strike three. Wow. Ozuna took a couple of fastballs for strikes to end the at bat and to end the inning. How about that? Probably looking slider, but he just attacked him with fastballs, wasting no time. Here you go, big fella. Hit if you can. Great job by Slitter. The 2014 Nissan Sentra. It'll keep you moving and connected. Life at the top is pretty good. Choose Sentra with 0% APR. It's a great choice. Shop at ChooseNissan.com. She's still the one for you. And Cialis for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment is right. Cialis is also the only daily ED tablet approved to treat symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. Don't miss Red Lobster's new Lobster Toppers event. Four entrees starting at just $15.99, like our new Lobster Top Wood Grilled Shrimp or the new Lobster Top Lobster. And now, for lunch, try our new Lobster Tacos, just $9.99. And soon, so hurry in. The 2014 Nissan Sentra. It'll keep you moving and connected. Life at the top is pretty good. Choose Sentra and save up to $1,500. It's a great choice. Shop at ChooseNissan.com. Welcome back, everybody. The uh, Cubs invite you to take advantage of free remote parking and shuttle services. Nope, they don't. Well, they do. Well, we're going to remind you that the Cubs play the Marlins Wednesday at 11 a.m. Should I do it? You can just do it. Read no, the graphic. Just, You're good. You can sell it. Cubs and Marlins Wednesday at 11. Pre-game live Pre -game presented live. by Fields Auto Group. There you go. That's it. We got it. You want to read mine? <laughs> no, go ahead. Free parking. It's like Monopoly. <laughs> That's on night games and weekend games. Uh, shuttle services are provided. That's at 3900 North Rockwell. For details, visit Cubs.com. All right. Live TV, baby. Cubs Marlins free parking. That's all you need. Get the sponsor in there. Everybody's happy. And we got an entertaining ball game. 4-4, top of the eighth. Battle of the bullpens. Marlins <laughs> not happy about that as uh, they thought Valbuena offered at that pitch. Let's see. Sure he did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a base hit. Lead off single. It's two for four. The end of the bat. Dumps it in front of Stanton. He has one tough out right now. Here's AJ Ramos, a right hander. Rizzo follows Ruggiano. Uh, Ruggiano, excuse me. So, decision time here for Mike Redmond. Dunn's been good against right-handed hitters anyway. I suspect he'll stay with him. Reason why, he... no, maybe not. So he has made the call. And it'll be right-hander A.J. Ramos when we come back. 4-4 four, four in the eight.
nice car. Not so nice scratch. Wouldn't it be nice if removing ugly scratches from your car was this easy? Now with New Finish Scratch Doctor, removing surface scratches is easy. In fact, independent laboratory tests have proven Scratch Doctor to be the best scratch remover available. Scratch Doctor with advanced micro technology also removes paint scrapes, scuffs, haze, and swirl marks. So get Scratch Doctor. Number one rated Scratch Doctor, available at O'Reilly Auto, Lowe's, Pep Boys, Target, AutoZone, Walmart, and other leading stores. Hey there, can I help you? Shh. Sorry. Hi. Uh, we need a new family plan. How about 10 gigs of data to share and unlimited talk and text? Oh, 10 gigs sounds pretty good. Yeah, really good. And for a family of four, it's 160 a month. What? Get out of here. Sorry, are we still doing the whisper thing, or...? Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, yes. Sorry. yes. Oh. We'll take it. AT&T introduces our best ever family pricing. For instance, a family of four gets 10 gigs of data with unlimited talk and text for $160 a month. hard-throwing right-hander A.J. Ramos. Yeah, I mean, now Ramos is a guy who can strike you out, too. You see 39 punch-outs and 31 and two-thirds innings, but check out the walk numbers. 24 walks issued by uh, Ramos in 31 and two-thirds innings. That is really high and could, should be of some concern, but he's got a really good arm. He pitched 80 times for the Marlins last year and finished with a 3.15 ERA. He's got a starter's mix, fastball slider, real good changeup. If I recall, he kind of turns it over kind of scroogey like. Valbuena at first, Ruggiano the batter. Nobody out. Shows bunt, takes a strike. I say hard thrower, but uh, he used to throw harder. Fastball averaged almost 94 a couple of years ago. This year, just over 91. He would tell you he throws just as hard, but not quite as fast. Well said. That's from experience. <laughs> there goes Valbuena, a hit and run, and a swing and a miss, and he's out. Yeah, that's all good. Mm. What a play by Mathis. He made a couple of very good plays tonight. Forced play on the bunt earlier when he handled it like an infielder. And this time backhands this ball in the dirt and throws that strike to second base. Okay, so here's the question. I mean, you saw the pitch, and Mike Redman wondering what. Maybe if there was some interference, because there might have been contact, but Valbuena was thrown out, right, anyway. out anyway. Now, yeah. It looked like Justin did all he could. I mean, other than literally throw your bat right, at it, right. how do you make contact? Right, yeah. See, and that's one, and Valbuena's not a base star. I didn't see his lead. I didn't see his jump. But with a right hand on the mound, I don't want my base runner treating a hit and run any differently than a straight steal. You know, the way that play used to be taught was, hey, you know, it's on the hitter to put the ball in play. Don't get picked off. Uh, so you don't have to worry about getting a great jump. But with a right-handed pitcher on the mound, a guy who does get a lot of swings and misses, I want my base runner thinking, that, you know, in my mind, this is a straight steal. And all of a sudden, two outs. Almost strikes out Ruggiano. talked earlier about the importance of having people on base in front of your slugger to put a little pressure on the defense make the manager think twice about how he wants to approach a situation now with that caught stealing on the broke busted up hit and run play it really cleans things up see if Ramos challenges Rizzo in this at bat or not Two balls, no strikes. Phillies still leading at Atlanta, 1-0 as they go to the bottom of the ninth. Papelbon time. 3-0. Kansas City blowing out Detroit. 
And Comerica 11 to 2 in the bottom of the eighth. Man, are the Royals hot? They've won uh, seven in a row. They just swept the White Sox. As intentional as an unintentional walk gets. That was Pujols or Bonds like their approach to Rizzo in that at bat. That's the potential winning run they just put on base without even trying to get him out. And now Castro gave the Cubs a short lived lead with a three run blast. Yeah, with a guy coming up who has extra base power behind him. That and was Rizzo, in the sixth. Rizzo's not a slug. He can move around the bases, he can score on a double here. Hit hard and through. Rizzo makes the turn. No sense in chancing it. He's already in scoring position. See if Sweeney can come through. Five hits in the last two days for Castro. He was three for four yesterday. Single, two singles and a double. Sweeney has made the defensive play of the game, tracking down a deep drive out in center field. So it's interesting the idea of working around Rizzo the way they did with nobody on base. Here's a 1 0 pitch. Foul back. So essentially what you're doing is you're saying we don't want this guy to hit a go ahead home run. Mm -hmm. But think about just, it's the, it's just the, the percentages. Odds, right. He's got 14 home runs. The result of walking him is he put Castro up there to kind of create a situation that you were essentially trying to avoid. Mm -hmm. You're kind of pitching away yeah. from. Yeah, the, the, you just start playing against the worst case scenario, but, but even though the odds say something completely different, right? Um, there's a psychological part of it. You know, you talk, you talk so much about teams and going into a series and, and scouting and game planning and identifying, we're not going to let this guy beat us. Um, I've never been a big believer in that. I don't think there's any value. In the, the whole idea is to win. It doesn't matter to me who beat you, who didn't beat you. Um, yeah, he's homered once every almost 17 at bats. So if you're a pitcher and you see that you, you take your chances I would think based on the math. Yeah, if he hits one every 17 yeah. I got a good chance to keep him yeah. in the ballpark. Well, that's, that's why I was a little bit surprised he went to the right hander. I thought he would keep done in the ball game because as you said he done has really been able to neutralize slugging over the years. So now two and one on Sweeney. Pitch popped up. Ramos is going to get out of it as McGee makes the grab. The Cubs strand a couple. And they're still tied in the eighth. The new Lexus CT Hybrid with an EPA estimated 42 MPG. The further you go, the more interesting it gets. Lease the 2014 CT 200 days for $2.99 a month for 27 months. See your Lexus dealer. I referred four of my neighbors to DirecTV and now I get $40 off my bill every month. But the real reason I did it was that stupid cable van. It seemed like every week there it was, ripping out this, tearing up this. I mean, it was always something. DirecTV is reliable, and you get the best channels. Refer a friend to DirecTV, and you'll both get $10 off your bill every month. Just give them your account number before they call 1-855-REFER-NOW. I'm not much of a shopper, and I got a lot going on. So it's good to know farmandfleet.com is there. 
I have got a million things to do. When I think of things that I need, I jot them down and I go to farmandfleet.com and I do all my shopping. I can just finish what I'm doing, grab my phone, see all the products I want, just order them right there online. I just place my order and I pick it up at the store. I just pick it up and go. They make it easy. It's so easy and convenient. White Sox Giants, tomorrow at 7 on CSN. Hi, I'm David Kaplan with a Sportsnet Central update. Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn passed away this morning at the age of just 54 after a four-year battle with cancer. Gwynn, who spent his entire 20-year career with the Padres, racked up 3,141 hits. He won the National League batting title eight times, career average of 338. We'll talk more about Gwynn later tonight with Todd Hollinsworth joins me for the post-game show. Now, back to Len and J.D. in Miami. Cap, thank you. Brian Schluter struck out Marcelo Zuna to end the seventh. And he'll face Adani Echevarria to start the bottom of the eighth. 4-4. away off to the right. Mathis and then a pinch hitter probably for the Marlins. Steve Seashell. Don't know if he sells seashells by the seashore. Well, he's in the right spot. It's like Reed Johnson will be that pinch hitter. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase a slide piece. Two batters, two strikeouts for Brian Slitter. I think the more Rick Renteria sees of Brian Schlitter, the more confidence he has in him. Normally not a strikeout pitcher, and you like to have those guys late in games that get swings and misses. But typically has very good command, and it's not like he's a soft tosser. He get it up there to 93-94 with sink. Jeff Mathis. Outside for a ball, one and one. Street, maybe a little bit toward the outside. Anchor slides out there yet again. Tonight, 19,170. First place, Braves are down 1 0 in the bottom of the night. Marlins tied with the Nationals going into play tonight for second. Bounce foul. The 
Mets are off tonight. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch outside again. Usually it's at this point in the ball game, away, away, away. Stay away yeah, from the guy's power. Don't, don't want to make a mistake and let, let a guy run into one. Math is not a slugger, but if you make a mistake. Middle in, up a little bit, he can hurt you. It's a good fastball down and away here is what you're looking for. Charged by Castro. He's got lots of time, and he gets Mathis. Two outs. The thing you really like about Brian Schlitter with his fastball command, he takes a couple shots out of the zone with that slider, hoping Mathis would chase. He didn't, so at the end of the day, he's got a challenge, but he throws a good fastball in a good spot. 93 with a little sink. Not going to get hurt with that pitch very often. It will not be Reed Johnson with nobody on. It's... Veteran uh, switch hitter Raphael for call who made his season and uh, Marlins debut on Friday against Pittsburgh. He missed the first 65 games with a strained hamstring. First action since 2012. He had Tommy John surgery. Didn't play last year. Career game number 1,609 for Raphael for call. Career 281 batter and a strike. Over 300 steals. He's always had a big arm at short, although he's being asked to play second now. He hits one on the ground to Castro. Throw to first. In time, and the inning's over. Ryan Schlitter doing a nice job tonight. He's faced four and retired all of them. This is the Campbell's new Honda Pilot. The same car that will take five very athletic kids and one cellist to a great many extracurriculars. With the Bluetooth that will get them ready for wins and also a few losses. And the rearview camera that will help keep an eye on just about everything. Come on, George. Start something special now with the Pilot from the most durable, longest lasting brand in its class. Visit your local Honda dealer today. Remember when every new fork on the trail led to a new adventure? Then keep the tradition going with great deals at Bass Pro Shop's 4th of July sale. Like 20% off recreational vests for the whole family. And bring the kids to our free family summer camp. Hey man, how do I eat this extra long barbecue cheeseburger? Dude, it's a burger. You just eat it. Oh, I, mm, I see. Do you start from the short side or the long side? I'll go long. All right, I'll go short. There's no wrong way to eat the new extra long barbecue cheeseburger. And now you can get any two sandwiches for just $5 only at Burger King. Thank you, Daddy, for defending our country. Thank you for your sacrifice, and thank you for your bravery. Thank you, Colonel. Thank you, Daddy. Military families are uniquely thankful for many things. The legacy of USAA auto insurance can be one of them. If you're a current or a former military member or their family, get an auto insurance quote and see why 92% of our members plan to stay for life. Follow the Cubs with MLB.com at bat for your iPhone, iPad, Android, BlackBerry 10, or Windows Phone 8. You get score, stats, highlights, live audio, and more. Text at bat to 31826 or visit Cubs.com for details. Not a safe situation, but a tie game in the top half of the ninth. That's the time where a manager will typically go to his closer. And that is Steve Ciszek for the Florida Marlins. He's been on 29 times. Four wins, two losses, a 220 ERA. 15 saves and 16 tries for side-arming right-hander. Sinker slider guy gets a lot of ground balls, but he gets a lot of swings and misses, too. 49 saves, three blown saves combined the last year and this. Junior Lake will start it. See Shaq uh, usually pretty adept at keeping the ball down around the knees and below. That does not favor Junior Lake. 
Hang that slider middle in a little bit. You're asking for trouble. Deep to left for Lake, and he might have broken his bat. Did it sound like he cracked the bat? Maybe, yeah, maybe just down off the end of the bat a Man. little bit. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but Cole just did not carry. So one away, it's Olt and a strike and a slider. Off the end of the bat, cued and caught on the line out. Jones retiring Holt. Andrelton Simmons has uh, tied the game. The Braves and the Phillies. Long save for Jonathan Papelbon. Braves still batting in the bottom of the ninth. Strike to the catcher Baker. Two hits tonight. The other out was a hard hit ball, a liner to left. Final in Cleveland. Indians four, Angels three. Bauer over Weaver. Strope on the left, Rondone on the right. Good to see Hector back and available. Dealing with a little bit of an achy elbow. Never did have to go to the DL as Baker fouls back. Red Sox beat the Twins tonight at Fenway, one to nothing. Sack fly by AJ Przinsky in the fifth inning. That's all Ruby De La Rosa and company would need. Baker can keep the inning going. Nate Sheerholtz will be the pinch hitter. Neil Romero is not available for the Cubs tonight. Safe situation, but you see where he's listed on the Marlins uh, all time board. Kevin Gregg's actually back uh, with the Marlins in their system, recently signed a uh, minor league contract. Swing and a miss for strike three. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. The Cubs now hope for extra innings. It's 4-4. the heart to tell my children what happened to their college fund. I should have investigated more. Sign on the door, fancy car. I thought I was in good hands. Before you invest, check with the Illinois Secretary of State's Securities Department to make sure the company is registered and the broker is licensed. Call 800-628-7937. Online, go to avoidthescam.net. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. 
Well, Hopper is coming up to the plate. You know, I don't believe it, but he signed that two-year contract that puts him on a limited hit plan. Absolutely terrible. He gets fined for getting too many hits. And he's already over his monthly hit limit. And there's a base hit up the middle. And here come the overages. Switch to the Uncarrier. T-Mobile is doing things differently. No long-term service contracts. No ridiculous overages. Bottom of the ninth, a 4-4 deadlock. And right-hander Pedro Strope will take over. Hamill, Grim, right, Slitter, and now Strope. Pedro, no wins, three losses, a 4-12. He worked the uh, eighth inning of uh, Friday's win over the Phillies. That was the Arietta game when Jake was so good. Seven innings of no run baseball for Arietta. Strope pitched the eighth, gave up a leadoff single, and then got three in a row on ground ball outs. He had his issues with control as well, but certainly overpowering. And Capable of putting a lot of strike ups, strikeouts up on the board. He's got the top of the order to deal with here. We're going to extras in Atlanta 1 1. Phillies and Braves. Cubs hoping to do the same here in Miami. Last time you saw the Marlins is back at Wrigley and they hung a loss on him. Got a blown save and a loss in a four to three Marlin win. Fastball 96 and a strike to Marisnik. Stroke debuted and 2009 with Texas and on to Baltimore second year with the Cubs two bouncer to the shortstop Castro Good start for Strope. Jason Hamill, the starter, six innings, eight hits, four runs tonight. He walked one, struck out nine. Allowed the home run to Stanton. Grimm, a third of an inning, struggled with his control, but Wright and Schlitter get it, got him off the hook. Mostly Wright with a third of an inning. Brian Schlitter was really good tonight. 17 pitches, 13 for strikes, two strikeouts, and one and one third scoreless. Mm. Take that. I got more where that came from, too. <laughs> One strike. And Jeff Baker. Well, we're not there yet. But we could have a, pretty much the same scenario here with Stanton coming up next if there's two outs and nobody on. <laughs> Jeff missed that pitch by about a foot. Two outs. Is dealing here tonight in the ninth. Look at the movement on that one. Talk about changing lanes. That thing moved like a wiffle ball. Marlins tacked at least uh, A.J. Ramos against the Cubs number three hitter was to work around Rizzo. Swing and a miss on a slider. And it kind of created a situation with a couple mm -hmm. of outs. Well, you know, quick pitch, slider strike, 0-2. Tiptoe around and put him on. He's capable of stealing a base. The guy behind him, Casey McGee, has been swinging it well. Another quick pitch and a bouncer yeah, careful foul. Careful there, careful there. That was a breaking ball in the zone. You don't want to leave this in the strike zone. Watch where Baker is. Watch where the pitch ends up. 
A little bit surprised Baker didn't go out and talk to him after that one. Swing and a miss and a slider. And we'll go to extras from Miami. It's the Cubs four and the Marlins four. Ode to the fresh toasted chicken and bacon ranch melt. Just north of ridiculously delicious, you'll find this baby bordering on sublime. This taste explosion begins with chicken so tender, it begs to be hugged by freshly baked bread. Then it's piled sky high with bacon, Monterey cheddar, and a ranch sauce that makes sharing lunch a case for sainthood. The Subway Chicken and Bacon Ranch Melt. That's mmm with 27 M's. Subway, eat fresh. Jack Link's Jerky presents Hangry Moments. So that's the vendor request form. We got a few changes from last year. It's the second time this week, Dan. I'm doing the best I can, Pete. Jack Link's Jerky, the protein packed way to feed your wild side. Extra innings are presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky all season long. Jack Link's Beef Jerky, feed your wild side. Well, nice clean inning by Pedro Strope, three up, three down, culminating with a strikeout of Giancarlo Stanton. Slider outside edge, swinging a miss, strike one. Got away with one there a little bit. And got away with another one there. It's time to make a pitch. He did. Slider on the edge. Right-hander uh, Brian Morris, formerly of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Between the two clubs, he's worked 27 times. Been in the right place five times, and he's got a 290 ERA. Here's Brian Morris against Nate Scherholtz. Cubs have gone down in order in five of the nine innings so far tonight, but in one big inning. Two and six in extras. Miami's four and five. Here we go. Right to the shortstop, Echeverria. One away. Valbuena. And a strike. Morris pretty much thrown right into the fires since being acquired from Pittsburgh. Already his seventh appearance. Fouled straight back. It's June 16th. His first appearance was June 4th. Saw him in all three games at Wrigley. A little over a week ago.
two and two. Luciano will hit next. We're in the tenth and a 4-4 tie. Cubs got all their runs in the sixth. The 2-2, two, two. it's outside. Not a big surprise to see Valbuena work the count here. Fouled out of play. Three, two, and he walked him. Just another good AB for Valbuena. The night did not start well for him. He struck out his first two times up looking. And single, single, and now one out walk here in the tenth. Morris is an extreme ground ball pitcher. Pitch to Ruggiano and a swinging strike. Mm -hmm. He had liftoff in mind. Didn't get the sinker, got the slider. Hit the ball hard twice tonight, lined out in the fourth, solid line drive single to center in the sixth. That approach would serve him well here. He's trying to stay through the middle. Get the ball airborne, stay out of the double play. Nothing else and give Rizzo a shot. Nasty little sinker he's got there. That might even have been the changeup. Died that time on the sinker. I think they called that pitch you were wondering about a cutter. Yeah, it, it looked a little like Melanson's had a little right. kind of down. Yeah. Well, playing it first, one out. We're in the ten. Game one of three. Swing and a miss. They struck him out. 
And I believe the cutter. Yeah, that definitely had more cutting action away from him. So it's Rizzo with two outs. He knocked in a run in the sixth with a ground out. Walked in the eighth. He's 0 for three. Has already beaten the Marlins in extra innings this year. You remember that series at Wrigley Field off Kevin Slowey in the 13th. The pitch. And he lines right to Ozuna. So we'll go to the bottom of the tenth. We're still tied at four piece. Jack Link's Jerky presents Hangry Moments. So that's the vendor request form. We got a few changes from last year. Second time this week, Dan. I'm doing the best I can, Pete. Jack Link's jerky, the protein pack way to feed your wild side. I can't believe how much money we saved on our floors at Luna. I shopped around, so I know we got the best deal. Right now at Luna, get an incredible 70% off. 773-202. Luna. Hey, this Wendy's salad really tastes like summertime. Told you. Summer in a bowl. What? Sweet strawberries, chicken on the grill. Wait. Did you do something different in here? Mm. New salads. Nothing captures the feeling of summer like Wendy's new strawberry field salad. Fresh strawberries, bacon, and grilled chicken on a bed of fresh greens. Now that's better. And now kids' meals just $1.99 after four. Chrysler Town & Country is the ultimate minivan. Get 0% financing for 72 months and 2,000 bonus cash for up to 7,800 in total savings on Town & Country Limited. the 10th and a 4-4 tie. Sure holds are just uh, hit for stroke. We'll stay in the ball game. And coming into the ball game. This is good to see. Hector Rondon. Yeah, it's been a while for Hector. Um, missing a little bit of a Tender elbow, shut him down for a few days. 101, 245 for Rondon. So, obviously, not a safe situation. But he gets the call here in the bottom of the 10th. Hector, this is his first appearance since June 6th, which was also against Miami. That was the, the blown save. Remember the yeah. three blue pits mm -hmm. in the ninth inning? Mm -hmm. So that was 10 days ago. Well rested, comes out of the shoot, throwing 98 miles an hour. It was a day uh, Rizzo hit the game winning homer in extras. Strike one on Casey McGee. Wind in the 0-1. And I have to go on record to saying I really like this move. Some managers, you know, they, they save their closer until they have a lead in an extra inning ball game, but sometimes you never get there. That's right. And, uh, you know, with Ramirez not available, 4-5-6 due up here. Some dangerous hitters for the Marlins. I like it. I like it. Just, you know. Get through this inning with Rondon, then maybe down towards the bottom of the Marlin order, you use somebody else, and hopefully in between you manage to score a run. The velocity not a problem. He's touched 98 already a couple of times in this sequence here. Two and two to McGee with Garrett Jones waiting on deck. Really? 
full count. Two straight strikes, three consecutive misses. Rondon's 3-2, ball four. And a leadoff walk. It's a full house for McGee tonight. Walks over singles. So they'll put the shift on. So the question now is, will we see Garrett Jones think about a bunt here uh, like um, he did earlier in the ball game? You see Alt. Yeah, I guarantee he's thinking about it. Over on the right side now with uh, Valbuena, and they're going to have Castro kind of guard against the bunt. So Valbuena's got to be the guy at second. He's the cover man there. Um, he was not thinking bunt. No. Nope. He was trying to end the game right and there. With each swing and strike, Castro can back off a little bit. And now yeah. Uh, yeah. Gary Jones uh, tells Castro, don't worry about no, it. Well, now they're going to move Castro into more of a double play position because before there was a scenario where the ball could be hit a step or two to Valbuena's left, and, and there was no play to be made at second base. They would have no chance to get a double play. 0 oh, 2. Well, we've talked with Gary Jones a lot uh, this year, and there, there's a lot of conversations every day about positioning and whose responsibilities. You know, it is to cover in certain spots because the shifts aren't all the same. There's Jonesy. Also the third base coach. 0-2. Driven to right. If it's fair, it's over. And it is foul. Foul ball. A rocket hit by Garrett Jones. That's a pretty firm contact on no balls and two strikes. He was quick to that inside fastball. Spins on it, but foul. Rondo survives. On the body English in the world, not able to push that one fair for Jones. Him out on a foul tip. Jones able to get to that inside pitch, but this four seeing fastball elevated at 96 just beats him. Just flat out beat him. Adrenaline pumping for the first time in a while. to first McGee back. Strikes. Short lead by. 
by McGee. Just outside. And we're going to the 11th in Atlanta. 1-1 one, one there. We're in the bottom of the 10th here. 4-4. Four, four. Tigers got six in the ninth, but still came up short. 11-8 Royals the final. Justin Verlander started that game. And gave up seven runs on 12 hits in six innings. Line drive, base hits. Feeney playing deep out there. Guard against extra bases. First and second with one away. This case is interesting, isn't it? He's been getting hit around a little bit here in recent starts, but he's still throwing 98 miles an hour. Usually when you see a guy with his track record start to give it up, you think, well, maybe he's hurting a little bit. Uh, I think his big contract extension, I was reading, doesn't actually kick in until next year. Is that right? I'm not sure. He is signed through 2019 with a vesting option for 2020. He's going to make 28 million per year starting next season. So they swing the outfield around the other way for the Javaria. They don't think he's going to pull Rondon. And the pitch is bounced foul up along third. 28 million. Now you're, you're basically in getting in the a million dollars per start range mm -hmm. at that point. If it, you have a DL stint, more than that. Now he's got an ERA just under five now. Mm. And you have to be shallow enough in the outfield where you got a shot of throwing McGee out at home plate on a solid single. late and he waited back and still couldn't get it set now he throws on one two it's low and outside the catcher Mathis on deck three and two Asking a little too much of himself there, trying to throw that one 110 miles an hour. Second, that's Casey McGee. Ozuna, the runner at first. Double play depth all around. 3 2 to Echeverria, just off the end of the bat. Would have been ball four, but he doesn't walk much. 
seems to be in uh, yeah. drive in the game winning run mode. Everything relatively close. He's probably hacking. Unless you if you threw one inside you might lock him up because he's been looking and leaning away. Here it comes swing and a miss strike three. Well, it wasn't really about location. They're just beating him with 95 mile an hour heater. Lots of strikeouts. Slitter with two. Strope with two. Rondon just picked up his second. The starter Hamill had nine. And it is the tenth consecutive start of at least five strikeouts. Third longest active streak in the majors. Jason Hamill. There's one out of four. That's with two on and two down in the tenth. The pitch. Foul the breaking ball. up with that rising fastball at this point 0 and 2 on Mathis he's already blown away Jones and Echeverria Those big league hitters who swing and miss and are really late they're able to recalibrate pretty quickly. Blocks the breaking ball. Mathis is from Mariana, Florida. Longtime Angel. Not a bad idea to throw the slider there, even if you don't get the swing and miss, just to give him something else to think about. Swing and a miss on the slider. And the inning is over. We go to the 11th. 4 4. Jack Link's Jerky presents Hangry Moments. Sorry, folks. Still waiting on that mechanic. <laughs> Jack Link's Jerky, the protein pack way to feed your wild side. Every holiday, every milestone, and every celebration. For more than 60 years, Benny's Beverage Depot has been there, helping you celebrate the best times of your life. Hey, man, how do I eat this extra long barbecue cheeseburger? Dude, it's a burger. You just eat it. Oh, I, mm, I see. Do you start from the short side or the long side? I'll go long. All right, I'll go short. There's no wrong way to eat the new extra long barbecue cheeseburger, and now you can get any two sandwiches for just $5 only at Burger King. My husband, Trey Ponder, was killed June 28, 2005, in Afghanistan. My husband's death was the hardest thing I've ever faced. The Special Operations Warrior Foundation stepped in to help. Now you can help, too. Purchase new Cherry 5-Hour Energy now through July 31st. And a portion of each sale benefits Special Operations Warrior Foundation to help families of fallen heroes. I will always miss my dad, but thanks to Special Operations Warrior Foundation, I will never feel alone. In a 4-4 tie. This is not unfamiliar territory for the Cubs this year. We mentioned uh, two and six in extras. This is their ninth extra innings game already for the Marlins. This is their tenth. 
Starlin Castro with a big three run a homer in the sixth gave the Cubs the lead at that point. Let's stay back on the breaking ball and Kohler prior to the six had allowed just one hit was in complete command of this ball game. And he let it get away some good at bats by the Cub hitters. And one big swing of the bat by Castro. He'll lead it off. When he hits a ground ball in the left. And a three hit game yesterday and another one tonight. Three hits since the sixth inning. And you know Castro is a guy who makes a lot of contact doesn't strike out that much. Um, Somebody pointed out to me earlier today just to get an idea how good Tony Gwynn was. Castro has struck out more in his career than Tony Gwynn did in his entire 20 year career. Wow. Wow. And, and Castro's not a high strikeout no. guy. The pitch to Sweeney is a strike. Did I read today he had one three strikeout game in his career and somebody tweeted that it was Bob yes, Welch. Yes. Yes. Ironically enough. Yep. Yeah. Dirt. One ball, one strike. Carlos Villanueva, as per usual in this spot, he yeah. usually is uh, at the ready. That is, if he hadn't already pitched two innings earlier in the ball game. Now the most Gwynn ever struck out in a single season was 40. That's incredible. It was an 88, yeah. Well, hit and run. There he goes. Yes. We're going to stay out of the double play. Echeverria will throw the first. Almost looks like a sack bunt. Well, you smelled it. Yeah, well, you know, he, if this guy gets so many ground balls, he can't afford to bounce into a double play. The stolen base, I don't think was a real good option. And I don't like bunting there either as you're getting down towards the you know, latter third of the, of the lineup. And once you got into that two and one count, you know they're not going to pitch out. So kind of all the, all the stars were aligned there. To, Play a little hit and run. Well, here's a spot where Junior Lake hopefully can play a little Casey McGee. And quite honestly, if Junior's going to stay at this level long term, he's going to have to start doing that. And we've seen a lot of occasions when he's taken these huge hacks, and all the Cubs need right now is a base hit. And he pops it up and slams his bat down. Yeah, and it looked like he had a pitch that he might be able to do something with. So a, a breaking ball of sorts that backed up on Morris, but it was up a little bit. Is that one down in a way that he really has trouble with? I think it's the realization that he had a pitch he probably should have hit hard that really. There's the frustration level rising for Junior. Bolt swings and misses. Say the same about Mike Gold. Obviously, he's a home run hitter, but the Cubs right now just need a blooper. Anything into the outfield. 
Castro will definitely score here with two outs. He's going to shorten up, which is not something Mike does very often. And the paradigm has shifted. I mean, 10 years ago, guys weren't being taught to shorten up. But uh, the run scoring environment has changed these days. One of the best I ever saw was Carlos Lee. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. you know, he would he would he take that win. he would take that little man's approach and just hit a ground ball right back through the middle of the diamond. One two. Now two and two. to see Mike to come through here. He has been scuffling. He hasn't played a whole lot lately. The chance to come up big here in extras. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And the inning is over. So the Cubs waste the leadoff single by Castro. And we go to the last of the 11th. Still tied at four. Nice car, not so nice scratch. Wouldn't it be nice if removing ugly scratches from your car was this easy? Now with new finish Scratch Doctor, removing surface scratches is easy. In fact, independent laboratory tests have proven Scratch Doctor to be the best scratch remover available. Scratch Doctor with advanced micro technology also removes paint scrapes, scuffs, haze, and swirl marks. So get Scratch Doctor. Number one rated Scratch Doctor, available at O'Reilly Auto, Lowe's, Pep Boys, Target, AutoZone, Walmart, and other leading stores. Hey there, can I help you? Shh. Sorry. Hi. Uh, we need a new family plan. How about 10 gigs of data to share and unlimited talk and text? Oh, 10 gigs sounds pretty good. Yeah, really good. And for a family of four, it's 160 a month. What? Get out of here. Sorry, are we still doing the whisper thing or? Oh, oh sorry. Yes, yes. Sorry. yes. We'll take it. AT&T introduces our best ever family pricing. For instance, a family of four gets 10 gigs of data with unlimited talk and text for $160 a month.